I did, yeah. Okay. Good morning! Hi, yogis! You ready? For yoga? Let's get ready. There's my hair. Hello! <laughs> and more of it. I have a lot of it. Good morning. All right. Let's start seated. I'm gonna move my mat so my new little orchid can be on camera. <laughs> Let's come to a nice, easy seat, Sukhasana, easy pose. Ah. And just come to your breath. Long spine, eye gaze soft or eyes closed. And just notice what's going on with you right now, taking that inventory. Coming to the breath. Coming to stillness first, before we begin our movement meditation, our yoga practice. Let's come to this quiet place of stillness. and dialing into the breath. The anchor metaphor is used often to describe the breath. And so if you imagine a boat out in the open water, able to list anywhere the wind will take it, if you imagine the anchor just gently, very gently bringing the boat back to its center. And that is exactly what the breath does for us. So there's so many distractions in our mind. Come, let them come, but let them go. We have so many, many thoughts. Let the breath and that anchor bring you back. Just giving yourself this one hour today. What a gift. trying to block out all the external and internal distractions. Notice the length and the quality of your breath.
See with each inhale and exhale if you can make the breath longer, slower. Maybe even hold at the ends of the inhale and exhale. The breath is the only system in the body we can control and that also acts on its own. So most of the time we never even think about breathing, it just happens naturally. But during your practice today, I'd like you to think about your breath. Concentrate on it as you Try not to concentrate on anything else. Let your body move and flow with the postures. Add whatever you'd like to add. Don't do whatever doesn't feel right. Honor yourself, honor your body. Start to bring a little bit of movement. I like just a little bit of side to side to start with. A little bit of sway. Make the movement bigger as you feel like it's ready to be made bigger. And as the thoughts come, remind yourself of the anchor that's going to gently, gently bring you back to the center. If you feel like you want to take a twist here, maybe start with a twist. If not, make bigger circles around. And then come to seated again, long spine. Seated cat, cow. So we'll sit up really tall, long spine. And then exhale, hold on to your knees, round and curl, pull away, chin tucks. Do that a few times. Again, letting the breath follow the body and the body follow the breath. Make that connection. Inhale, reach the arms up. Mm. Go ahead and take the left wrist over to the right side and gently look towards the ceiling. To center, maybe take a tip back, really lengthening, switching the hand, and then off to the left. You can, like I said, make anything bigger or smaller, depending on where you're at. Reach back up to the sky again, maybe tip it back, open the chest, open the heart. You can even take your hands behind your head and let your head fall right back in there. Mm. Mm. And then forward fold right over your legs and outstretch arms, long spine. Keep going until you need to come on up to tabletop. So just keep pulling yourself forward until you reach tabletop. If you end up off your mat, just kind of back it up a little bit. Here in tabletop, let's make some movement, maybe even just side to side, wagging your tail a little bit or taking some cat cow, tucking your toes and really feeling the bottoms of your feet. Cat stretch the spine, pull the shoulders up, chin tucks. Maybe front to back motion. You can even bring your toes towards your head for a quad stretch or some dancing lion, big circles. So just starting out nice and slow this morning. Really connecting to the breath. That's really what I want you to feel this morning to start our practice. As the weeks go on, the disconnect for some of us starts to feel bigger. 
the disconnect from our friends and family and our work and so many other things. And it can start to maybe feel a little overwhelming. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But when I come back to my breath and make that connection, I just feel like it's all okay. That it's just temporary like everything else, just a moment. And so come back to your center as often as you can, as often as you need to, to remind yourself to stay right here in this moment with your breath and yourself. We'll work our way towards downward facing dog. If downward facing dog is too much, you can always stay in tabletop or also you can take this on the elbows if you have any issues with your wrists or on blocks or books if you have them. In the first downward facing dog, lengthen the spine, send the tail to the sky, press the weight out of the hands and into the back body. Paddle out the feet, twist and turn. Just move your body any way organically that feels really good right now. Be really kind to yourself. Walking to the back of your mat, so just walk your hands back, like kitty paw, right back to the back of your mat. Forward fold, if the hands graze the earth, that's fine. They can grasp opposite elbows, behind the legs, under the feet. Bend the knees a little bit for the first forward fold here. Let the head hang heavy. Maybe sway a little bit from side to side. You still want some more movement. And then slowly roll up or swan dive up to stand. Hands reach and take a back bend here. Mountain pose, feet together, hands down to your sides. Feeling the feet grounded into the earth, feeling the toes, the heels, the edges of both feet, feeling that connection to something so much bigger than yourself. In a time, like I said, where I feel a little disconnect, when my feet are grounded into the earth and my breath is strong and steady, I am connected to each and every one of you and to my place in the universe. Hands come to heart center, palms pressed together, Eye gaze the top of your mat, right knee to your chest, balancing on the left leg. Feeling all four corners of the left foot as you draw the right toes up even more towards the shin, pressing energy between the palms. First balance. down, inhale up. Tip back, maybe a little more, and heart center again. Notice again the breath. Notice when we pick the leg up, what happens to the breath and the heart rate. Left knee comes up, curl the toes up. We're practicing awareness with our breath during our practice today. Noticing how we feel. Noticing the right leg, noticing the left toes, noticing the balance. Noticing if one side you're fighting a little bit harder to stay straight on. Gently step down, inhale up. 
Hands back to heart center, right knee to chest. This time, kick the toes out towards me. Lift the arms up to the sky, flat back. Don't lean back, don't lean forward. Keep lifting the toes. Hands can come to steeple mudra at the top, prayer hands at the heart, or airplane wings out to the side as you sweep that right leg back. Airplane pose. Or warrior three variation. Back leg is straight, toes are pointing down. Bring the knee back to the chest, hands up to the sky. Toes towards me, big step halfway up your mat, mountain pose, halfway. Put a hand on your heart and a hand on your belly. Feel your heartbeat right here. Feel your breath. I didn't just run around the block, but my heart is beating fast. So it doesn't have to look like a lot to be a lot. And so that can translate to such a bigger, bigger picture. Maybe you don't realize the toll that things might be taking on you, not only during this time, but even before this time. And this heart beating fast, just with that little movement, it's just proof of what's going on inside sometimes doesn't always match what's going on outside. Hands to heart center, left knee to chest. Arms up, foot towards me. Reach, breathe. Keep the breath steady and strong and slow. Decide the hands up together, heart center, out to the sides. Sweep the left leg back, warrior three. Noticing the balance on the other leg now. Knee back to chest, hands to sky, toes out to me. Big step, top of your mat, heart center. Notice the breath, awareness of the moment. Inhale, reach, sun salutation A. Exhale, fold forward, flat back, bend knees if you need to. Inhale, offer your heart, walk back to plank, lower down your way, either to the floor or hovering, either use the knees or don't. Upward facing dog or cobra pose. And we exhale, press back. Down dog. Five long, slow breaths. Resetting. Tugging gently at the boat back to the anchor. If you're wanting more today, physically take more. Take push-ups, take vinyasa, take extra chaturangas. If you're wanting less, take child's pose, knees tap, sit back, rest. Inhale together, community. Exhale, H-A, ah. Inhale again, big. Exhale, verbal. <sighs> Walk, step, jump, or float, top of your mat. Inhale, offer the heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Forward fold, right back down. Offer, inhale. Vinyasa, exhale. Upward facing dog, cobra, inhale, down dog, exhale. 
Come on, all 10 toes, bend the knees, turbo facing dog. Press the chest back to the thighs, shake the head yes. Shake the head no. Stay on the 10 toes, extend. Straighten out the legs, bring the right toes up to the sky, open hip on hip or up on the left toe as well. Press the chest back to the left thigh. Open and close the leg, make some circles, wiggle toes, ankle, flip the dog. You do what feels right right now to open the body. Unwind, right knee to nose, right knee to forehead. Cat stretch the spine, shoulders over wrist. Step the foot gently in between the hands. Lunge twist, left hand down, right hand up. Again, yogi's choice on how this twist happens. You can be on the back knee, you can roll to the outside edges, use a block. Circle the right arm. Awareness, what does the body need? What feels good, what doesn't? Fingertips frame the toes, straighten out the front leg, come up on the back tiptoe, step it closer if you like, head to knee, parsvottanasana. A tense side stretch of the right leg. Try to square the hips. The more square you get the hips, the more you're going to feel the intensity in the posture. Come back to your breath, yogi, back to the anchor. Where is it? Standing L or standing split, depending on your flexibility, right away. Kick the back leg up. Hands can stay down on a block or the earth. Leg can come to an L or higher. Maybe you're ready to pop up into handstands. Maybe you want to turn this into balance, one or both hands behind the right leg. And noticing the breath and noticing the body, noticing the heart rate, calming it down, bringing it back to center. We forward fold, inhale, lengthen halfway out. Plant the palms, walk back to plank. Lower down on a five count, all the way to your belly, five, four, three, two, one, cobra pose, slide your hands back one inch, peel the chest open, press through the toenails, breathe in, floating cobra, reach the hands off the earth. Breathe, little sips. Press back child's pose or downward facing dog. Optional additional vinyasas or child's pose. Your body knows, just listen, it'll tell you. Be quiet and listen. All 10 toes up, bend the knees, turbo dog, stretch, melt. Straighten everything and left leg reaches, find space. Rewrite the story, whatever it was.
Knee to nose, knee to forehead, pull it gently all the way up and in, shoulders over wrists. Step the foot all the way through. Twisting lunge, right hand down. Knee can come down, arm can spin circles. Outside edges. Where's the breath, Yogi? Come back to it. Notice it. Both hands frame the left foot, straighten out the left leg, step the back one in. Intense side stretch, forward row to nasana, head to knee. Square the hips. Kind of wiggle them around and feel what you need to feel in this posture. And then find that space that it's just a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling, just a tiny bit. Feel the sensation, that's the posture. You know you've arrived when you feel something. And then follow that through with the breath. Standing L or standing splits. Or stay where you are. Trying to keep the hips as square as you can. Keep pulling that right one down. It wants to go up. Split balance, one or both hands behind the left leg. With the breath, step down, forward fold. Inhale, sweep to the sky, back bend of your choice. mountain pose. Feet together, legs together, one big leg, Utkatasana chair pose. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Walk back high plank or tabletop. Right hand to center. Vashistasana, side plank, yogi's choice, any variation, scissors, stack, lift, or stay on the knee. The top arm can reach to the sky, looking up, or any other variation that you like. Ground force reaction presses the floor away, lift the hips, breathe. Plank down dog, vinyasa resets or stay in the down dog, a child's pose for relax. Forward again, plank, left side, bashi stas in the left hand moves to center. Again, left knee can come down, taking whatever variation feels right. And it may not be identical from side to side. As we strive for balance and equanimity, we come to realize that it's elusive at its purest. But we still try. Plank, down dog, or child's pose. If you're with me, we'll vinyasa, coming down to plank and lowering slow on a three count together, up dog or cobra.
downward face. Right leg reaches for the sky, steps through, warrior two. Right foot in between the hands, spin the back heel, cartwheel open towards the left side. Shoulders and hips open, pressing through outside edge of the front back foot. Knee just over ankle, not past. Pressing firmly into the ground, rooting down to find the foundation of the posture. From the root rise, pumping warrior three times. Reach. Noticing the breath with each movement. Side angle, try not to hold on. Let's see if we can hover. Bring the hand up towards the heart and the left hand up to sky. If you need to or want to, you can tap the earth or elbow to knee. You can use a block here too. Or maybe you're working that core. Both hands can come out and reach. Power doesn't necessarily mean fast. Power doesn't necessarily mean loud. Exalt, stay low in your front leg and reach. Float your back hand if you'd like. Warrior two. I feel the right leg too. Cartwheel the hands down, let it go. Parsvottanasana again, we were just here. Step the back foot up and in. It should feel a little bit different now. Bring the chest closer to the thigh. The back foot should be touching all four corners. If it's not, bring it a little closer. The left hand stays down on a block or the earth. The right hand comes to hip, revolve triangle. It can stay right here on the hip. That's enough. Or reach to the sky. Gently frame the foot with both hands. Kick the left leg up, standing split or standing L. It should feel different than the first time. Take a different variation if you like. Stepping down, forward fold, finish. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, chair, Utkatasana. Ardha Utkatasana, half chair, lean forward, flat back, come up on your tiptoes. Higher, 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 squeeze the legs together. Breathe, breathe. Forward fold, crow pose, jump back, meet me in down dog.
Vinyasa, clean the slate or take a rest. Add push-ups here if you want. More. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, reaches through, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, left side. Shoulders, hips square open, knee tracks over the pinky toe on the left side. Pressing energy through the outside edge of the back foot, sinking down into front knee lunge. Shoulders pull back, down and away. Fingertips are strong. Root down, pumping warrior three times. Two. Side angle variation, whatever you like. Strength or ease. You can also bind and wrap if you did on side one. Exalt. Lifting up and away, side body stretch. Sinking into front knee lunge. Any variations that you have and like. Arms float back, warrior two. Cartwheel down, frame the foot, step the back foot a little bit closer, head to knee pose, Parsvottanasana. Notice the difference again. You can come back up on the tiptoe in the back to find more space in the left side. The right hand stays down, left hand to hip, twisted triangle, Paravrita Trikonasana, revolving triangle. Hand can stay at hip, hand can reach to sky. Scissoring the legs like they are actually a scissor. Squeeze to the center, squeeze to the midline as you twist, looking up or down. Unwind, untwist, head to knee again. Use the breath to bring you a little bit further in, squaring the hips. Standing split variation of your choice. Lean forward. Finish and forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Stay here for a few breaths, pressing through the back body. And then halfway up. And then slowly, slowly rise to stand. Hands to heart center. 
tree posture, Rikshasana, right side, tree, left knee comes up. Right knee comes up, sorry. Left leg stays strong. Any variation you like, inner thigh, half lotus, floor, ankle. You can fully express the leg out to the side if that feels right for you. Finish, knee back to chest, step down, shake that out a little bit. Maybe make some figure eights or some hip circles. Stand in mountain pose for a few breaths, reconnect. If you're wanting more power, go ahead and take a few more vinyasas and push-ups. We can wait and rest right here or work. Perhaps taking this time for a gratitude meditation Allowing the smallest, tiniest, littlest thing you're thankful for bubble up in you. And let that grow into the biggest. Utkatasana chair pose. If you're still in the gratitude meditation, continue while you're in chair. Twist to the right. You'll be grateful for the forward fold in a moment. Forward fold, halfway up, press back. Take a few breaths here in the halfway point. Hands to hips, all the way up. Little back bend. Heart center, left knee to chest. Tree pose, left side. Whichever variation you took, take on the other side. Whether it was half lotus, at the ankle, at the inner thigh, full expression. Finish, knee comes to chest, reset. Step down, inhale up. Hands through heart center. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Twist to the left. Forward fold, release. Heel toe the feet apart. 
two fists or further. See if you can keep the feet parallel. And then we're gonna to come to a low squat. If you need to, you can open the toes out, heels in. If squat doesn't feel good for you for any reason, you can have a seat on your bottom, bound angle or seated forward fold. If you're in the squat, find what works. So maybe it's a bind, maybe it's opening the arms, maybe it's crow, maybe it's just sitting here for a moment, letting the hips gently open, finding maybe some more gratitude if you're in a meditative place. Coming to seated, bound angle, feet together, knees apart. You can take some side trips for firefly or crow. Beautiful. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, chin forward, fold over those legs. Coming to straddle either both legs or one at a time, whatever is more comfortable. You can also turn to the side if you want your feet to be on the mat. Curling the toes up, maybe removing some of the flesh out. If you want to take some side stretches here, options are always available, whatever it is that feels good. Gently rise, bring the knees into the chest, egg pose. Forehead taps onto the knees. Pull it in, give yourselves a big hug. So I think what I miss the most is the hugs. I'm a hugger. So I miss all the hugs. I even miss those little crappy hugs that people give. <laughs> but I miss the really good ones. Boat pose. Either hold on behind your legs with the knees bent or straight up. You can hold on or you can release your hands. Keep drawing chest to thighs. Navasana. Ardha Navasana halfway canoe, either hover or use your elbows to hold. While I'm here, I can't just stay, but you can if you want. Go ahead and pull it in or up, straight up to V for 10, nine, you can count, don't cheat. <laughs> Hug 
plug it in again to egg when you're done. Maybe flow through a vinyasa. Coming back to seated Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold, legs out in front. Did a lot of folding today, so let's do a little bit of back bending. Let's come into reverse plank or reverse tabletop after the seated forward fold. When you release to the seat, it's bridge or wheel for a total of two, one of each, two of one, whatever you decide. Then take a few moments to finish your practice, whether it's at the wall or some other postures, maybe some arm balances. I didn't do today really any, except for pro. So go ahead and take whatever it is that you take, what you need to finish your practice. Maybe you just wanna sit with me and windshield wiper the knees releasing out the low back, or maybe there's a twist you want, or happy baby, but please take the back bends, even if they're supported bridge, which is a nice, easy way to do bridge. Block comes right underneath the sacrum. Ah. Take what you need to finish, yogis. My love-hate relationship with my wheel is about to manifest. <laughs> Spinal twists, finishing posture, fish, inversion. Coming back to ourselves again. Wherever you ventured off to, come back to the breath. Either on your back or your right or left side or seated. Every time I step on my yoga mat, it's like hitting a big reset button. I press the button, I begin my practice, and I finish completely reset. And right now we're going through a global reset. Somebody pushed a really big button. And families are spending more time together and people are outside exercising and they're not driving their cars. And Planes aren't running as often and the air is cleaner. 
we're cooking, we're eating healthier, we're finding joy in the little things in life. And so yes, there's the darker side to what's going on, but I'm choosing to focus today on all the positive parts. Yogis, remember the anchor is still there for you. Take these next few moments in the final posture of your practice, Shavasana, to finish the reset that you started an hour ago, allowing all the dust to settle back down, letting go of what wasn't serving you, feeling the breath, connect to your center. Unclench your teeth and your jaw. Notice if you're holding tension anywhere in your body and let it go. Thoughts may start to come in now that we've stopped moving and that's okay, just let them go. Don't hold on to them, even if it's the most brilliant idea you've ever had. It'll still be there when you're done, so let it go. Focus on the breath, deep and full. Gently roll to your right or left side, curl yourself into a tiny ball, using your arm as a pillow. Bring little movements back into your body now. Maybe it's just opening your eyes, or it could be just wiggling a finger or two. Coming back to seated where we began our practice today together with a long spine, Noticing our breath. Sitting in awareness of our body and our thoughts. Yogis, thank you for allowing me the honor of guiding you in your yoga practice. Until our paths cross again, I wish you peace, love, light, and health in abundance.